Hello everyone, this is Lumi, your guide, and uh, we are back for the 12th part. It is not easy to say for non-native English, but the part that comes after the 11th part. And uh, as you can see, we are back down here in the cave. And um, we will just uh, keep continuing with this 100% uh, walkthrough into this cave, what is uh, commonly called the secret area, because it's so easy to miss because you just have to walk away from the ending uh, right before it actually is there ready to greet you. Now I was looking up there because there's an environmental that we'll have to do late, but, later but uh, let's go for these puzzles that are well uh, somewhat tough uh, because we have parallelism and we need to put these shapes uh, in such a fashion that they actually work with each other. Now, as you can see, we don't have a symmetry in the shapes. So, this leaves us to think of something where we can combine these and put them together uh, so that kind of like we have something like this. And I'm just showing you, of course, this is wrong. But something in this type of shape where they all touch each other in a tower like fashion so that it actually works. Now, if uh, I use, for instance, uh, this. Uh, three by one and I would put it here like so and add maybe this one to cover it up in this fashion but then if I would bring this down I mean how, how would we have something that covers these two up because we need to include our our uh, tetrominoes remember that so the only tetromino that we have right now here that actually would take them all with it, each other would be to either uh, put this one like so on this corner or have two others combined somehow uh, in a fashion where, where it would actually work but that would actually then leave maybe I don't know we would put this one up here but we cannot rotate this remember that so how do we do this well we have to put basically the uh, 3 three by 1 plus another on top here in this corner and then we put this corner here and then we add the Z type of thingy or here and you'll see maybe and then well the 3 by 1 just reaches here and then we are going up like so like if you see on the top one you can see I, I put I created one shifted the one upper left to tromino to the right and then here I have the other one there and then I'm just adding the final one on each side so here is the small one and here is the long one and here is the Z type one and here is the other one like so so this is the way we can do solve this one now let's keep co going and uh, here again uh, we have to somehow stack these together to make a shape that we can actually use now uh, for this one it's fairly easy because we just uh, put them next to each other and we, we cannot simply solve it like that. Now if you want to do the same you can't because these are like broken apart. So you have to find new ways of sticking these together. But what we can do is just have them like so. And this is up here and this one is down here. Again now see we cannot do neither pass here neither pass there like just copy the solution that we had before so we need to, to come up with something new well if we put this one down here and this one up here it works again we are, have we get our our paths all broken up and to try and find to put these in in a different fashion now what we for, maybe had you have forgot because you we have been putting the right one to the right and the left one to the left is that we as long as they are touching we can just uh, turn them upside down so the right one goes and we stick it to the left and vice versa uh, if we continue here again we, we get all of our paths broken something that uh, we then are not satisfied with but uh, we can put them together but just face them off a little bit see uh, this one is here this one is there so it, this works out as we keep continuing down this mine shaft, we have now these. Remember, they have two blank spots in between, in between them. 
So they they are actually well they they kind of end up touching each other, but uh, not really. So I mean, if we wanted to do this one, it would be here, and then the other piece would be here. You see. Now the way we make these touch is by uh, if we grab this one and we put put its beginning here uh, then we have these two like so and then these other two like here now if we add then the three by one just to be in between them all then it works hope you you understood this uh, again if you don't understand you can always write in the comments now this one we know we just need to remove something uh, as long as it is included. Now if we remove this shape in this one we get basically two cubes in diagonal like so. If we stack these cubes that are in diagonal on top of each other uh, uh, well and then on top of this one then we will get this stair shape. I hope you saw basically if I I hope you understood. It's kind of like if I had the cube here and then I remove this part so I end up having just these two but then I shift them to the right on top of this one that is here anyway. I hope this was clear. Now continuing we have again one with parallelism and we need to create something that works but see we cannot go like so because they end up uh, touching each other but what we can do is just like so, because they, they are interchangeable. This one can come down here, and this one can just be like here, and this single point goes there. So, fairly easy. Now, here we start having something that is maybe a bit, bit more complex, and we need to find a way to uh, stack these together so that it actually, that they are actually touching each other in, in a way that uh, we can make either individual uh, type of uh, tetromino symbols or all together. Now, imagine if uh, if we would want we would take this one, the, the, the long corner, and we can put this corner here, or we can put it up here. But when we put it up here in the center, then it's it's uh, definitely already englobing these two. Now we need to put the other three shapes somewhere else, so that they are actually well touching each other and, and making this thing work. Now if we actually take this one and, and shift it slightly lower and we can have this cube, this one goes, go like so and we can have the single one here but then we cannot really put the, 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 the reach this one. Now what we can do is though if we still have it I mean and by, by meaning it down here I, mean, I can show it it's like a shape like so we have the shape like so we can have add the single up here this one we add to reach down here and then we add the 3 by one to come down below here now the way we, the problem is if we want to do that uh, it won't work but if we come from up here we get to put the single corner then we grab the the edge of that cross we go down here like so, but I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm afraid we are missing this part. Damn. Uh, unless, oh wait, my bad. Uh, if we put it all the way up here, then yeah, this works. So again, I'm showing this one. The corner is up here. This other corner to the right is all the way up here, and then we have the three by one in the middle, and then the single dot that finishes off the shape. Now again, we have exactly the same, and uh, but if we want to do this, we cannot do it because this path now is broken. So we need to figure out a different way of placing these shapes. Now, if I would leave this one down here, for instance, and then put the single, uh, or not the single, but... Uh, and yeah, we, we just don't don't get that cross over. But if we have the single here, maybe the three by one here, and then add the other corner here, and then this cross there there, we can then go with the cross. Then we have this one, the three by one, the single, right? 
So here's the, the three by one, and then the shape is like so. Did you see? So this corner up here, the bigger corner up here, just the same as on the left, but then we have the single here, and we just shifted the three by one to the left. Now the shapes have changed, and we need to still get this to work. Now immediately, what I somehow can't see how this would work, maybe. Mm. Single down here, yeah. Well, I, I, I'm belie I believe that we can, by grabbing it like so, going all the way down, have this like so, that it works. Yeah, because we have the 2 by one down here, the L, inverted L shape is here, the single one comes in this corner or anywhere, or on the left, but the 3 by one and the single make this 4 by one Now, continuing, Again, same same principle. We need to create the shapes, and they need to be touching each other if we want something to come out of this. Now, the immediate thing we see is that if this one we cannot put anywhere around it or touching it. Actually, you can't even place it there because you need to have it included. Even if you would manage to cross over here and put it there, it would not be included. So the the thing we see immediately is we need to somehow stack this these things together. Now the way you can do this is by taking this shape and putting it down here and then you take the 2x2 two two and all of these uncrossables are going to be the 2x2 two two and then the 2x1 here. So it would do something like so. And then it works. See the 2x2 two two here, the L on its side and then the 2x1. Again now we have another, another issue and what uh, you might be thinking of doing here is to try and put them together, but it, it, it's just plain easy sticking it like that. Because you have been complexifying your way of thinking through all this puzzle, and then it's kind of like, ha, huh, you are going to try to stick them together, but it doesn't work. So just uh, it's fairly easy just to keep them separated, like so. Now, the final section of this uh, mine shaft. Well, uh, we need to stick these together, and again, we cannot, uh, well, hold it up like so, but if we, well, no, if we put them together, then we cannot go, not in this way, but I'm fairly sure we could do it somehow differently, yes, or not, uh, I'm thinking, 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 thinking too much, oh, well, yeah, that's... oh, no, wait, if we do it like so, like next to each other, then it works. I was, over, again, over-complexifying. Now, if we want to do the same, we cannot, but we can just uh, stick them... Uh, mm -mm. Stick them like so, and then it works, just next to each other. Just uh, finding a way to put them together where uh, y you won't have any any trouble. Now, we want this one to be like so. You can see one here and then the other one is kind of in its, in, in its uh, corner. And now it's another, another such uh, solution that we just need to uh, implement. And it's, uh, it's, it's not tough, it's just... Uh, like, uh, wait, 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 yeah, like so. Like one in the upper left corner and the other one there. And we have this shaft done. So maybe I, I believe it might be the most thought requiring part of this lower end, but we'll just keep going puzzle by puzzle. Now, here, uh, more of these. Uh, if you combine these two, we already can see that we will have. Uh, um, 2x3, but are we going to be able to implement it down here? Yeah, and this is how. We first put the, this L, like so, in the upper left corner, and then we implement the 2x3, and then the single one, and then we are good to go. See, the, the L, the 2x3, that we when we stick the, these together, and then the single one. And there's no problem. Now then here we have the stars that need to be together, 
at the same time as the black needs to be separated now. Fairly easy, I mean, if you don't see it immediately, I, I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> now, colors, again, uh, these are not moving, but they actually alter the colors of the ones in the back. Now, you need to maybe make everything, like, imagine everything in purple, so... It would be, these are all yellow, except for this one. And in each line you'll see there are different type of, uh, of shades, they, they look differently. So this is, uh, they are like pink, so the pink ones are the ones that are actually blue, and the ones that are blue and, uh, and yellowish, they are actually the ones that are yellow beneath. So it's a question of keeping the blue and yellow together, and then the all the pink and reddish together now the way i mean here we can already see this is one that we can isolate and then we have the the yellow here that we want to keep separated from the pink here is some more but then again you see this one we haven't uh, taken with us so uh, it was my bad you didn't grab it along and now we have these, uh, they are separated. Damn, now I'm uh, not I'm not grabbing these, but wait. Am I? No, this is yellow. No, I'm, I'm correct. These need to be together. So, hmm. I'm thinking, how can we separate these? Because they are like each in their own cross, as you can see, you know. Uh, but these purple here seem to be yes the purple actually changes so depending on the color background they are going to be the same together or not I'm going to have to try a fiddle a little bit around uh, now here is the solution well, you just have to realize that all of these are yellow I mean and it's a question of picking a pen and paper put it, putting it down and then realizing that as the background changes their color also changes and then you have this, as long as you recognize that these are colors that are the same beneath either turquoise or yellow then you can solve it this way i mean i, I can't explain it further than than that now here we have one with the machine icon a lovely machine icon that we know of is requires one fault something that doesn't go right and we need these stars to be with one pair and it can be one pair from the same color so the way we can do this is just like so because this will be a fault, uh, a fault the group, because it's not belonging with the greens and all of these stars are individually separated with their little thing which they require to make a pair so fairly easy now uh, here we are those that have the pillar in the center and that really kind of disturb you. Now, the, this one I remember it, it was quite tough because I was trying to put the the tromino shapes around the pillar, but the pillar is just there to mess with your head because that's also a square that the tetrominoes will consider as a shape. So now that uh, if you know that, you can basically put uh, one, two, three tetrominoes like so and then one on the edge. So uh, it's just a matter of finding the right angle to take it with you. So, I mean, because you cannot go around, but you know that here is a tetromino, so what if we would just, like, put one on the edge there, and then the other three, like so. Then you can just go around like that, and... Oh, my bad. So you go around like so, and then you can finish either side. doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean... Uh, upstairs I don't I don't think that upstairs there is any influence of in which angle you uh, finish these uh, we might check it out though again now uh, here we need to do this three by one with a single so we just have to do this shape and then we also need to I mean once we have this shape uh, was a bit too much to the right but once we have uh, this shape we just need to separate white from black now uh, here we have black on one edge and again like so and then we have it separated now here is about separating 
whites from black and uh, fairly easy just uh, doing so and this one we need to do one tetromino shape like so we don't have any colors behind that but uh, we need to create that that shape so in, in on one side so what I'm going to do uh, is let me try and put it down here and then separate the blacks like so and I mean we're going to go upstairs now and uh, we'll see that uh, there's not much happening up here there's nothing behind there actually uh, we keep going up I mean oh, did we miss something yeah we can go down there but uh, we'll, we'll go first up here and here you see I mean uh, there's there's nothing that can be done here except for these puzzles there's nothing that those downstairs seem to influence whatsoever now uh, this one we know we need to go through all of the hexagons and uh, it's just a matter of uh, doing it like so but see now here it's, it's basically forcing us to go around in a particular way like so and again those that start appearing in the middle are just here to confuse us as to how we need to do it but mostly you can do always the same shape uh, and here we are again just uh, doing a similar shape and it just works out now this one you need to start in the middle so uh, it makes you think a little bit more maybe on how you need to address this but not even that much now it's about this one and well it's just about doing it like so very simple nothing more to it than this now uh, this one has the since it's so dark you don't know where the hexagons are up until they actually start complaining about it see and then once you know where they are it's just a question of getting them all now see now we know okay there's one further there in that corner it's just about making sure okay what well, so we have these and these so uh, do this oh that we have missed that one but it's just about figuring out where they are and then you you can solve the puzzle it's not even it's not even tough I mean uh, you just need some visual memory and then you can do it oh, wait. finish it okay uh, pretty much it seems like I need to pass through all of these so I'm just not gonna going to bother and just do like so and it works I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm passing through spots there I don't need to but now Okay, it makes me think a little bit more. Do, I, do we have? Yeah, we have one down here, but it just makes me he, it makes me think a little further about. But it, so it's done. Now this side, I guess it's the same, but with parallels. As as you see, it's just to make sure we are uh, catching them all. So now, because it's parallel, you just need to make sure. Well, now here, because we didn't go through the middle. And now, since we did, after going through the middle, we went back right. It, did, uh, it didn't work, we had to go left. Now, I'm just gonna do this one so I see what shape I need to do. Kinda. So. Because I don't want to cross, but I want to uh, go around. Yeah, I mean, something like so should work. Exactly. I mean, uh, showing it to you. So, if you want to figure, if you don't figure it out, now, okay, here we are. We've done this. We can keep going back and uh, go down to this area. Now, here is maybe the very first circular puzzle that uh, we'll see. Well, we saw one in the very first part, but we didn't know how to solve it yet. So, we know the triangles. We have double triangles on the very low end, single triangles on the middle, and higher up, double. And we know that double requires two passages, singles requires only one. Now this is a tough tough one, I mean, because you need, okay, here we see we have passed one. If you go up, we pass twice. Now here we have passed twice to this one, and 
but maybe we just want to go up like so. So we have passed once here, then we pass twice here and twice there. But again, if you consider that if you go like so and mean to pass a second time on this one, it doesn't work. So the way I thought of doing this is by passing once down, then passing a second time from above. Now without passing a sec an extra time on, on, the, on the final one, you know. Then here I'm going up, and these already have their single one. So I'm going to go left. And I know that this ones need a single passage, but if I pass there and keep going further, they're going to get a second passage. So here I pass my single time. You know, okay, so I've, I've done this single, single passage, single passage. But this one had this single passage already, so I'm going up. And I have one passage here, and then I get it second here, second for this one. But this one didn't only have one, so I need to go down. This one has had it second. Now I need to go back up to give him a second, and here it's done. So, I mean, I hope you followed this from the very beginning, okay? But if not, rewind. I think I was clear. Now it opened this up this door on the back. We are not going to go there just yet. We are keeping going past here. Uh, here is just a puzzle for an elevator. I mean, uh, it's just a question of uh, separating these like so, solving it once again. Okay, and now it's all on. This is uh, just to get the elevator to come up or down, you know. So, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe this one counts for the total puzzle count, but the others don't necessarily do. But they are fairly easy. You can do that without any problem. Again, here we know it's only one passage. And I already screwed it up if I do it like so, because we only want one passage. But here it's open. Now we are back out. It's the swamp area back there, but there's no, no need to go there. Now what we need to do is come here. And again, we know similar kinds of stars are required to be paired up. Now we can pair them up like so. But if we pair them up like so, uh, wait a second. Now, okay, well, there is no little choice to go here, and I need to pair the yellow ones up. So I need to give the other one a single pair. Now, the question is, how do I continue? The blue one, like so, as follows. Now, that one, that door is up. Now that the door is up, we can go back, and we need to go, if I'm not mistaken, all the way to the circular puzzle, and then look up from there, from outside, like so. And here is one of our environmental puzzles. Now I just want to check here, we are at five columns. So this actually finished one of our columns, the one that is uh, closest to the mountain. But the last column that is missing is the one that is in the, in the town. But uh, we have a few more things to do for that one. Now let's open this. Uh, we know stars need to be either in pairs, separated pairs from each other, while or being with one uh, simple figure. Now, uh, why not do do like so? Exactly like keeping the simple figure, but oh, wait, for that I need to go like so, and, but if I do it in this fashion, I won't be able to finish it off, so what if, uh, if we would keep this one here and this one there, we can create one, and another one on top, but then this one has too many of the greens, you see the, you see the dilemma, so, uh, mm -mm. If we separate this single one with each other, and then this one, and unless we create, I'm thinking, sorry for the noise, the neighbors doing some work, if you can hear it, but yeah, I'll, I'll think about it, I'll be back. So it turns out that it's actually pretty easy. You just have to put the two lower stars together, then create the 
three times two by two shape, and then the last one starts start with a, a single one. So uh, I was kind of blocking because I was trying to keep these two together, these two stars, and have this singled out. But uh, it's the last, the other one that you need to single out. Now here we arrive at the reward for the challenge area. The challenge area that we will only do the next part. But uh, yeah, just know that these puzzles are irrelevant. Now uh, here is a maze. You just go all the all, always follow on your right, and you get out of the maze. I'll explain these challenge puzzles as they come, so you won't have to worry to about having to to figure it out right as as it is going on. So now I just want to start here and do one more environmental. So just before you go, you can see that this lake creates an environmental. So more. Uh, here's the beginning of the challenge puzzle, but we are going to keep that for a separate, uh, separate video because uh, it takes some explaining and some time on its own. So I just want to get out of here for now, out of the secret area. Now, okay, we know all of these require only a single passage, and these require two. Now, if we do like so, we actually have. Uh, Accomplish this now. Okay, this actually gives us uh, opens us up. You can see this is the theater room, and it opens up um, one environmental puzzle that we can do, but uh, it's tricky. I mean, I, I might not get it on the first go. Uh, maybe let's go left first because left is how you get out of here and enter the town. I have one more puzzle here to solve and to open up. You can see. Uh, Quite complex one with uh, all of these triangles. But uh, I mean, I believe that if we do it like so, I mean, I'm I'm just guessing. Uh, I I have no idea if this will actually work out. I'm trying to make sure that all these have two passages, and I believe that I should go back. Just a, a notch to get this one like so, and up, and then I can get this one, and this is done. Okay, you, I mean, you know the rules. Three require three passages around it. One requires only one, and two require two passages. And uh, this is how you solve it. Now we are back in town, as you can see, and uh, we have our last pillar. I'm just gonna go have a quick look at it to show you how far along we are with all our secrets with our uh, secret, secret lines now this is done this is all done this is the two that one of them this one we can do the other one we can only do after having finished the challenge uh, this is one that we could actually go back and do but we are going to do that one as well with this one uh, which we require one more piece of information so I'm going to go back inside to have a little, a little more to do. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid this video might get slightly longer than all the others, right above the hour. But it, it's all right. You, you you can come back when you need it. Just go over the pieces that you need. Remember, we we've passed down there a few many parts ago. Now here we are. And uh, let's uh, just open up one of the doors so we have a free passage. That's done. That way, where the door that I just opened leads to the. Oh, there's another recording as you can see. It leads to the theater room. And here we have one more. Oh, no, it's not a uh, code for the theater room. But it's something that we want to write down anyway. Now, once you've written that down, this is a piece of information we require to do that. You know, the lowest one that uh, was on, and that, but that we haven't done already because I got it from previously. Now, if you continue this way, uh, it's just a shortcut to the desert area. Nothing much. Uh, it's just just an opening. It doesn't doesn't add anything to to this. Now we're going to do one environmental in this area before we head back to the castle to the initial not the castle the one with the big pressure plates but the castle the initial castle the one that we 
the fortress where we started. So I'm, I'm trying to find uh, the proper puzzle. No, of what you uh, it's this one. Okay, so we want this guy, and you see this image where there is the book. Uh, I believe, or uh, maybe it's even this one. But one of those it is. So we're going to go quite far because we don't want to miss it, and let him talk and and be quite fast at going back to where we came from and uh, go upstairs. And it's quite tough to catch it. You might not get it on the first try. I mean, I didn't. I hope I will for the purposes of this video. If not, uh, I'll I'll retry while. Uh, skipping it for you so that you get to see. You just come up here and you need to stand somehow here because you're going to get a single circle here. I'm worried if we already passed. Or maybe no, I was early on. Let's tell you more about the guy who's talking than about the world he's talking about. Yeah, okay, I think now now it's going Second to show. Views of the world. Come on, come on, uh, I hope I have the right land. angle. By your interpretation of them. Things like that. As opposed Almost. to Ah, I got it. <laughs> Just in time. I mean you need to be really, really fast and then uh, you can continue all the way and have that one. Whew. Oh, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad it worked out. Now we can go back out. Um Initial Fortress, you know where we started? I'm just going to go there. I'm going to skip so that it won't get too long. See you there in a minute. Uh, well, now we are back in this area. And uh, remember the column I told you about? The one that we didn't know how to solve in part one? Well, now we do. And we can see that there are some single triangles there. Single triangles on this side. So, pretty. it seems like it would be an easy puzzle, right? Oh, I don't know about that. Let's see. Uh, if we do it like so. And then we can try and... Uh, go down but then uh, we need to, to, to get it this way so this do doesn't really work but what if we start like so no it doesn't work but uh, if we go up this way and do two up and then come back the other side we are taking these and then like so we're taking these and then we go like so then we pass on top, then we finish it. Then every single one has a single touch. And if you see what happens here, oh, we get uh, we get some, some puzzle that we got to solve. Well, that's, uh, I mean, we know how to solve these puzzles. They, they, are, they are not uh, that tough, so we just go around. Oh, damn it, I was a bit too far. But the ending you want to get, because you have many multiple endings that you could choose, but the ending we want is this one this one there. Why? Because now we can go and look at these yellow flowers with the yellow background and then damn it. Come on, why, why isn't it continuing? Or is it because it's not yellow? Why isn't why isn't it yellow? Because it's not long enough? Would it be possibly because of that? Oh wait. So let's do it like so. Why, in the, why isn't it yellow just yet? I don't see any reason as to why. Okay, so we cannot really grab onto it because it doesn't want to get yellow. And I guess the only way it gets yellow is if we perform the exact shape of the the environmental that we want to do. Now I'm not really aware of that shape by heart so I'm going to go back write down the shape come back and try this again okay I'm back here at the pillar just to show you this is the shape the great one that I'm writing down and then I'll meet you again at the puzzle well now we are back here uh, trying again to create that shape that we saw so let's uh, go all the way down and yeah, try and solve it like with an error. See, now it's yellow, and now we can. Uh, before it vanishes, 
create this, okay? But, well, uh, let's uh, finish it correctly because, damn it, because we want this to count as a puzzle. I don't know if they need to be finished or but anything goes. Well, that is done. Now, as you can see, we need to do the other one as well. This one, but it's it's closed right now. So we need to go back to where we had opened the door, remember? There was like this two-way puzzle that we could uh, use. Well, now we just need to solve it again once more, but with the proper uh, lower setting. Now, now that this is done, we can finally apply the thing that we wrote down. It was this, remember? With the three three triangles here, two triangles here, and one here. So we need to find a way. Okay, we're, we're passing three times around here, right, like so. Then we pass two times, like down here, and then once down here. Oh, did I? Oh no, I passed three times. My bad, my bad. So what if we do it like so? Pass three times, two times, like so, once. Okay. Now this is activated again, and now we can do the environmental like so and this here is a secret I won't show you further there are some uh, recordings down there uh, you can go and get those recordings you can see what this is, this is basically the secret ending of the game I mean, I'll bring you back here once you're done uh, I'll uh, yeah and then I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll meet you for the next part where I will do the challenge and after the challenge, I will use the reward from the challenge to get our last environmental puzzle. And after that, we'll finish the game. So, most likely, I'll be able to wrap it all up in one single part. Um, I hope you enjoyed this part about the cave and some extra se secrets. And, uh, yeah, we are getting close. Let's see. 487 puzzles plus 134 plus 5 so this is going to be plus the last environmental 135 plus 6 and then we get 523 solved puzzles so we need still about 36 puzzles to be done and then we are done with 100% of this game so we are not far anymore now I hope you enjoyed watching this just as much as I uh, liked presenting it to you if you liked the video, press the button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. This was Lumi, see you around next time.